Welcome to Electron Line. Our next two examples to see whether or not they're in equilibrium and whether or not they're properly constrained are here on the board. Looking at our first example right here, we see that the forces over here can be both upward, counteracting the weight and the force in a downward direction, and there can be a force in this direction. So we have force A in the vertical direction, and we have force at A in the horizontal direction. Over here, we can have a force only in the vertical direction, so we have a force at C in the vertical direction right here. We can't have a force in this direction because it's on rollers. Now, is this properly constrained? Well, right here, the fixture over here prevents it from going left to right. This prevents it from going in the vertical direction. We don't expect it to go up because of the force attached to this bracket right here. Now, to calculate the forces on a and on C in the vertical direction, notice that this is exactly at the halfway point. That means that each of these carry half the weight, so we know that the, the magnitude of this force in the y direction would be 500 newtons, and the magnitude at C in the vertical direction would be 500 newtons. And if you want to calculate the moment at A, so the moment at A, that is equal to the force that causes the rotation relative to A right here. Of course, it's in A clockwise direction that would be a negative moment so negative 1000 newtons multiplied times the moment arm of a half a meter 0 0.5 meters so that would be equal to minus 500 newton meters now when we come over to this example right here so here we have a problem no, no problem at point A, but we do have a problem at point C because the weight hanging down from here would cause this bracket to rotate about point A, causing a moment about point A, but there's nothing at C to prevent it from going this way because the force can only act in this direction. So we can only have a force in this direction at C, so we have nothing to counteract the moment about A, so therefore this is not properly constrained and not in equilibrium. Are we able to establish the forces here? And the, the answer would be no, we're not able to establish the forces because we don't have anything to counteract the moment about A. So this is definitely not constrained and not in equilibrium. All right, so these examples will really help you figure out how the forces act at the various contact points, depending upon how it's connected to either the ground or some other structure. And so hopefully this helps you understand how to deal with these types of forces.